Do you know the difference between movement training and aesthetic training? Welcome in, Trav here, much love, and let's talk about two different key kinds of training, the pros and cons of each, and why I advocate movement training over aesthetic training. So aesthetic training is training to be a certain way and to look a certain way for still photos or it's not just totally superficial, it's to pack on muscle as well, which is healthy and that is good. However, aesthetic training is not so concerned about movement. Movement training sees the body, sees the muscle as a vehicle to perform certain movements. So movement training is looking for quantity of types of movements and quality of movements. When I say quantity of movements and movement training, we're talking about movement vocabulary. This is something that you hear from me from time to time. So if we're doing movement training, training for quantity of movements, movement vo vo vocabulary, we want to know how to jump off two feet from the right, jump off two feet from the left, jump off one foot from left and right. We want to know how to backslide on both sides. We want to know how to back roll on both sides, front roll on both sides. Can you do cartwheels? Can you do headstands? Can you do handstands? Can you do breakdance moves? Can you swing this way? Can you swing that way? Can you pass behind the back right-handed? Can you pass behind the back left-handed? Can you do a dribble combo going this way and do it exactly the same going that way. Can you shoot with the right hand? Can you shoot with the left hand? Whatever your sport is, you see. It, it, it's Whereas if we're training for aesthetic training, we tend to have limited movement vocabulary where you know we go and we do biceps once a week. If we're training for mo movement, yeah, limited movement vocabulary. If we're training for variety, then we're going to go in and do new things every week. We're going to play new sports every month. We're going to do different kinds of off seasons every year. We're going to do Olympic lifts, we're going to do muscle ups, we're going to golf, we're going to swim, we're going to surf, we're going to play tennis. That is movement training and, and that is quantity of movements. And the second thing is quality, uh, right, we, uh, that just is healthy because we have combos that allow us to avoid injury, we have more combinations of movements in sport and the body tends to by product look good aesthetically and you can develop the muscle that you want through this as well. But it's a byproduct because we consider the body a vehicle to perform these movements. Now, I talk about movement quantity. Movement training also cares about movement quality. Movement quality is the physics of it, right? Reducing impact, being smooth in the movements, being silent in the movements, being ninja like, right? That is, that is what quality of movement is about. Moving in, in such a way that your body, that's sustainable, that the body isn't going to get injured and so on and so on. So what we see for someone who focuses on aesthetic training over time, the body might look good, it might look a certain way, it might have a certain composition of muscle, but it's going to have limited movements and limited quality of movements. Over time with movement training, the body is going to have many, many different types of movements to choose from, all to high quality, and probably by byproduct will look good with muscle as well. So that's why if you're an athlete, or human, as an athlete, I recommend focusing on movement training over aesthetic training, but I'm biased. You can make arguments for aesthetic training if you're a bodybuilder. Uh, there's different channels for that, but I think that um, having a high movement vocabulary at a high quality uh, is, is, is really what's going to be more important from aging. Ability to go downstairs and not fall in the bathtub and stuff like that is, is key to living a high quality life for a long time. So. I love movement training and I recommend it. Hit that thumbs up down below, hit that subscribe and let us know what you think about movement training versus aesthetic training, which one that you do. If you are just figuring out about movement training and you have questions about it, post them below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.